Hi there, here's how you're operating your iNet X roller team control panel. Press and hold the home key for a couple of seconds and then it will turn on. Up the top left hand side you have resources. In here it shows your battery level and also your water refill level. Your starter battery or the cab battery charges when the vehicle is driving and the leisure battery charges with the 12 volt control panel when you're hooked up to electric and also when you're driving. The water itself, the top level indicates your fresh water, currently at 33%. That will register 0%, 33% and 66%. The bottom icon is your grey waste. Any water that goes down the drain, such as your shower or your sink, will end up in there. When you're refilling, you press the button here. You can continue to fill the tank. When you're finished refilling the tank, you hit refill finished, and then the sensor will understand where your water's at. To exit that screen, simply press the back button. Next you've got your switches on the bottom left hand side, if you click here, you can see you've got your water pump. Press that when you're wanting to operate your water, and we suggest switching it off when you don't need the water. You've also got your outdoor light in the middle, and on the right hand side, your interior lights. All the interior lights are independently switched throughout the motorhome. If you hit back, you'll notice the green bar and it indicates that one of those switches are switched on. For the room climate, press the top and then you can choose whether you want heating or ventilating. Ventilating just circulates the air around the motorhome, but most occasions you're going to want heating. Click the heating icon. You can see here that you've got the option for fast, or for comfort, but firstly you would need to select your energy source. With your energy source you'll likely want to select 1800 watts if you're on hookup with the gas off or gas on and the electric off if you were off grid for a night. You can of course have a mixture of both and that'll help get the heating up to temperature a lot quicker and then you can switch back to electric only. You'll notice because I'm not hooked up to anything, I am getting an error message, that's fine. I can just click OK and I can exit out of this after switching these both off. What you'll find is this will pulse until it gets up to temperature and of course you can set the temperature up and you can set the temperature down. It shows you just underneath what the current temperature is. You could also turn off up the top right hand side. Okay. You have your warm water up the right hand side. The warm water is not on just now. You can simply click turn on. You've got a few options here. You have shower. Again, it's giving me that error code because I'm not hooked up at present. Your energy source, again, like before, gas on or your electric. Select your source, I'll put gas on for now, click back and I could change it from shower, I could change it to a long shower, shower or just the dishes. The water itself will take between 20 to 30 minutes to heat up and you'll see right now that it's pulsing to show that it's trying to heat up. Again top right hand side easily turn off your warm water when not in use. Notifications here is where you'll see if there's any error messages. Right now there's none. To get rid of error messages, the best way to do it is simply go to turn off. There's two options when you turn off. You have standby, which is fine if you're using the Bluetooth app. Typically you won't be. Uh, or you could do the hard turn off. We always suggest doing the hard turn off by simply touching this button here. And that's the control panel.